what's up guys and here welcome back to a brand new video today I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up your 144 Hertz monitor with your Elgato HD60 Pro so sorry I've been gone guys I've had an internship over the summer um, I was gone for three weeks July has been busy and I asked and I honestly just ran out of ideas to upload on this channel but I'm slowly getting there and finding more things to upload as I go so let's go back into, uh, into the tutorial so First off, you guys are going to want to follow my diagram. So this is very nice. I just whipped it up. It's a quick thing. It's hopefully it should show you without me actually actually showing you, but it's pretty straightforward and to the point. So to hook up the 144 hertz, here's your monitor, here's your GPU, and here's your Elgato. So to support 144 hertz, you can either use a DVI cable or a DisplayPort cable which most likely will come with your 144 hertz monitor um, if not you can find it on Amazon they're probably like five or ten dollars so you're gonna plug in either the DVI or the display port cable straight into your GPU and then run that to your monitor and then for to all right, and then to hook up your Elgato to your GPU you're gonna hook up your HDMI cable to one of the ports and then run the cable to the in of the Elgato HDMI HD60 Pro. Sorry guys, I can't talk today. Um, and then that's actually it. Um, there's nothing coming out because uh, you you don't need it. Uh, so now what you're gonna do is go to your NVIDIA control panel. And once here you're gonna go into your manage 3D settings and to stop screen tearing when it comes to playing certain games you're gonna turn DSR factors off. So you can just scroll all the way down. Actually, no, you can just drop down menu and turn it off and hit apply. Then you're gonna go over to set up multiple displays. Um, and here is where the fun part begins. So as you can see, I am recording with the display f feature of the monitor on my OBS. So all you have to do is click on your main monitor which is your 100 foot for hertz so currently it says I have four monitors I only have three hooked up and I'm using all of my ports so you're gonna right click on this and hit clone with and two see two is your Elgato so click two and as you can see here so this is your left monitor or my left monitor your main monitor and then your Elgato and then your my right monitor um, so now all I have to do is hit apply. So before I do this, I'm gonna switch my thing over to my Elgato. So as you can see here, I'll turn this on, go to properties. This is all hooked up. So as you can see here, I'll move my, my cursor. This is my fourth monitor to say, but it really isn't there. It's gonna hit okay. So now it'll show you that the video screen, it's, it's, it's really just my Elgato, it's working. So all I get it is apply. And now, as you can see here, you are all hooked up. It was that simple, guys. Um, so now your Elgato is cloned to your 140 hertz monitor, and you can go about streaming, recording, um, anything right now. And currently, my Twitch account is banned uh, for some reason, and I'm trying to get it unbanned. But uh, for right now, yeah, I won't be streaming. But we're not done yet. Um, so just to make sure that it worked properly, you have to go to adjust desktop size and position, and you're gonna go and follow, or actually just copy down everything I have here. So I set it to full screen because I play certain games stretched, um, especially Fortnite. Um, so you want it to set to full screen. So if you change it, uh, it'll stretch your entire monitor and it won't have any black bars. Same thing for with no scaling. So set your main monitor to full screen, perform scaling on GPU, your resolution, whatever your highest is, and your refresh rate to whatever highest is, because you have 104 hertz, you want that. Then for your Elgato, just copy the same things. This should all be the same, but perform on GPU and set it to full screen, hit apply. And then if it worked correctly, when you go over these two here, your Elgato should say 144 hertz. If it says 60, that means you did it wrong. Um, that means it's just cloned to 144 hertz. It really isn't, but it, it just says it. And yeah, that's everything. So now you can even change your resolution to well, this. Is actually, what I play Fortnite at, you can change it to that, and it'll work perfectly fine. And that's how to hook up your 
Elgato H260 Pro to a 140Hz monitor. So uh, I hope this video helped you guys. If this did work for you, please drop a like and also uh, subscribe. Um, I try to post, <laughs> I guess, once a month. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please comment, rate, and as always, subscribe. Bye, guys.